Hello everyone, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to our Bob. Riddick's Book of Philosophy. I am Phil Riddick, and this is where I get to talk about what I want to talk about the way I want to talk about it. All right, guys, what makes you do stuff? Yeah, what what is the thing, the gumption, the oomph that makes you do stuff? We all got to have it. All right. There's something that will cause you to do something. In cases where you don't want to do it, there's this thing that makes you do it anyway. And then sometimes there's something that you want to do just because you really, really like to. All right. That thing, that ability to accomplish tasks willingly, is called motivation, guys. And that's the word, motivation. What is it to be motivated? It is something that really makes you want to do it. Okay? Now, when in regards to YouTube videos, I'm, I'm talking about me for a minute. Um, what motivated me to make Daddy Cooks? To be honest, uh, nothing. Daddy Cooks wasn't even a thought when I started this whole thing, guys. The way I got from there to here was interesting, all right? What started me making YouTube videos was curiosity. One day I was like, how do you make a YouTube video? How hard is that? All right? And I made one. In fact, you go back and look at my very, very first video. It was me, my family. Matter of fact, I think we were drinking, hanging out, playing on the Wii. <laughs> playing on the Wii. And I posted that. I just come back from overseas. And we were just acting crazy. That's it. No rhyme, no reason. Okay? And it was fun. That was my motivation. That's what made me do it. I had fun. <laughs> okay? And then as time went on, you know, I was doing videos because my wife uh, had surgery and she was, you know, I was trying to document. So at one point, I was documenting stuff. Still had a personality, a sense of humor. I was just documenting stuff. But the videos were fun. So I kept doing it. <laughs> and then uh, I was in Kuwait. And my boss, Rob Ehrlich, great guy, very, very fantastic person to work for. But um, for a while, we were doing taste tests. You guys can go back and look at those videos. I ain't going to put up no links. But go to my earlier videos. We were, it was all one-upsmanship. He was trying to find something more weird than I was trying to find. We were in Kuwait, and we had the opportunity to go to the stores, Middle Eastern stores and Persian stores and Asian stores and buy stuff there that you can't get in America. And we were trying to not gross each other out, but we were just trying to see who could be the most interesting. One-upsmanship. That's what, and that was fun. So that was my motivation. All right, we kept going. Okay, and then as time went on, I started cooking. All right, now I already knew how to cook. I just didn't do it that much. I already knew how to cook. Uh, cook is fairly easy to me. It's, it's just like science, really. You know, you get the right amount of temperature, the right amount of time, the right amount of ingredients, poof, you got a meal. And that was fun. I started filming that, guys, all right? Anyway, that's what motivated me at that point. Still haven't gotten to Daddy Cooks yet, but that's what motivated me. But I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna bring on my guest. Um, and before I uh, reveal who this guest is, you guys already know you saw the title. But anyway, um, to me, this is what YouTube business looks like. This is what right looks like. Okay, well I will call his name now. This is Greg from Ballistic Barbecue. Here's his channel right here. All right guys. And it's just, uh, I was impressed when I've been watching him for a while because that's what right looks like. Um, he's leveraged YouTube to his benefit. And I hope to get there one day soon. Sponsors are great, okay. But it is what right looks like to me. Okay. But uh, uh, enough about that. I'm going to let you let him tell his story towards motivation. It's very interesting, actually. And uh, we do have a couple things in common. So without any further ado, this is Greg from Ballistic Barbecue. Hi, Greg here with Ballistic Barbecue. Phil over at Arbop Channel and Daddy Cooks reached out to me and asked me if I would be willing to help him out with this little project he's got going. Basically what he's doing is reaching out to other YouTubers such as me and asking us to produce short videos for a series he's got going. I think the 
goal is to kind of help out aspiring YouTubers, and uh, I really think it's a killer idea. He asked me to talk about motivation, what motivates me, and uh, wow, as I started kind of thinking about it, I realized this is kind of a difficult thing for me to talk about, I guess, because it's almost an emotional feeling, motivation. But what I'm going to do is start talking from the beginning and I'll kind of go into the present day, what motivates me today. I shot my first YouTube cooking video about five years ago, and it was just sort of on a whim. I, I really had no desire at the time to start a channel, start regularly producing videos. But I noticed that you know the video was doing well, and I started getting these comments, uh, interaction with people watching my video. Big motivator for me, especially when I started noticing that folks from all over the world were watching this. This is something I didn't really think about when I shot that first video. And to actually have an exchange with these people, get personal messages, and just responding to comments, that was probably the number one motivator for me. That's what started it all for me. I was just enjoying that so much. Uh, I mean, words can't even explain how much I enjoyed the interaction I have. After that, I realized, you know what, I'm going to start making videos. I need to have goals. I mean, there needs to be a way of kind of measuring whether or not you're doing the right things or the wrong things. And at least for me, it all boils down to, you know, how many views you're getting and, and your subscriber count. I think, you know, if people like what you're doing, they're going to watch your videos. And if they really like it, they're going to subscribe to your channel. And so those numbers, as you're doing better, should go up. So I started setting goals for myself. And I realized that they have to be reachable. You can't look at like the number one YouTube channel and set that as your goal. I mean, it can be an ultimate goal, but they need to be reachable goals. So for me, that first goal was 100 subscribers. I reached that. Then I hit 150 and I actually got an offer from YouTube. Now this is five years ago, asking if I was interested in joining their partnership program, which at the time they were a little bit more selective on the channels they would take in. But that one, that first video I did was doing really well and they saw that I was making more videos, I was being consistent, so they threw the offer at me, which I accepted. Again, motivator. After that, it's just, uh, again, those reachable numbers. After 100, my next goal was 500. I hit that. Then it was 1,000. Now I'm at, you know, I just hit 60,000, and I'm hitting them in tens now. My ultimate goal right now is 100,000 subscribers, but uh, it's just been a wild ride for me. Another really strong motivator for me is a good challenge, and some of my greatest challenges have come from my viewers. I've had comments like, Greg, you say um way too much. Greg, your videos are too long. Greg, where's your personality? And I thank you viewers for that because those became challenges. Not saying um, trying to shorten my videos by cutting out the fluff, the unnecessary footage, and also letting my personality shine a little bit, which honestly just took kind of, I was overthinking my videos, I guess, and now I just kind of try to look at the camera and Instead of seeing a camera, I try to look at the, my friends out there that are watching the videos. That's really helped. I thank all my viewers for that, but that's a very strong motivator. One piece of advice I'd like to offer out to newer YouTubers is make sure the goals you're setting are reachable. Do not want to get frustrated. And one of the worst things you can do is compare your channel to another channel. If you, you, know, you started around the same time as Channel X, for example, and they're growing faster than you, don't let that worry you. Don't even look at those numbers. One thing you need to realize with YouTube is Channel X may have had one magic video that went viral or something, and that just kicked them into another level. And if you just keep consistency, keep making good videos, eventually you'll have one of those little magic videos. Other than that, just keep chugging along. With every subscriber, that's a measure of success, and you need to be happy with that and let that motivate you. Other than that, uh, just have fun. Anyway, Phil, thank you for the offer, my friend. I hope this answered some questions, and uh, it was fun. I'll see you guys on the next Ballistic Barbecue video. Cheers. All right, guys, you hear that?
that just lays out exactly what made Greg do what he did, his motivations and what molded him, all right? In a YouTube sense, okay? But it came back to fun. What's the last thing he said? It was fun, fun. <laughs> That's a very, very big motivator, guys. But um, after hearing this story, I'm going to continue on with mine, guys. Remember, last thing I said was I started cooking, and uh, I still didn't have a clue about YouTube, guys. I, I had no clue about the whole thing, okay? And then I continued on making videos. People started subbing. I started getting people, uh, my numbers were growing. I was like, wow, this is interesting. This is cool. Didn't really quite grasp it until I made my, and this is what Greg said, my magic video. My magic video was my UDS video, all right? I built a UDS beginning to end, long video, 30 something minutes, boom. I started getting such a big, big reaction. People started subbing. People started sharing my video on other forums. <laughs> all right, guys? Um, that was my magic video. My numbers started growing. And then that is right when I realized that, hey, there's something to this. I still had, didn't have a title yet, I don't think. And then I changed the name, and then I changed it. Matter of fact, I did a video discussing should I change the name, I finally changed the name, okay? But the UDS video was my magic video, okay? And then after a while, uh, as I started figuring out that comments are important, uh, uh, my videos need to get better, because people are telling me this, I'm getting these comments and stuff, okay? Uh, and then I got approached by Tastemate. Okay, now I had seen certain people, taste made contributor, taste made contributor, taste made contributor, can't talk, contributor. And when I got approached by my manager from Taste Made, the first person I freaking talked to was Greg. I sent him a message. It took him a while to get it because he's fairly busy, but he responded. He apologized for taking so long and he told me. The skinny. Hey, I recommend you do this, you do this. It's a good organization, blah, 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 blah. He is the reason why I accepted the taste made offer. Uh, he's successful, smart, fairly attractive. <laughs> and like I said, he to me is what YouTube business looks like done correctly. So I accepted the taste made thing. From there, I continued on cooking and making videos and cooking and making videos. And that is how I got to Daddy Cooks. And that is where we are here. Daddy Cooks is doing fine. Now, the motivation for Arbop came out of, hmm. I'll say it came out of need. I think I was looking around myself and trying to find examples on how I could do daddy cooks better you know is there a channel one place that just lays out how to make better videos uh, what's the uh, 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 not philosophy what's the uh, background reasons for things how are things laid out what does right look like and how should you go about doing things when you make a video? And I couldn't find that. Or at least I couldn't find it in one spot the way I wanted to see it. So that motivated me. That was my motivation to do something. I was up in arms. Damn it. I can't find what I want. So I decided to try to make it. And that is what motivated me to start our Bob. And here we are. Uh, having said that, guys, um, you should find, grasp, hang on to whatever motivates you, whatever pushes you, whatever gives you drive to do better, to continue on, or to start. Okay? Find that thing that motivates you, grasp onto it, and continue to move forward. Having said that, I will see you when I see you.